Chelsea, how do you uh, come away from that one feeling? Happy. Yeah. Shit, happy. We got to win. Um, you know, that team is just, they got, as we all know, one of the best cultures the league has ever seen. So even though they're really young, man, they just play the right way. They play so stinking hard. And um, they play so fast, like they just, they're in and out of their action so quick. They put a lot of pressure on your defense, man. They really, really do. Um, and if you, if ever you beat them, you're going to earn it, you know. So I'm, I'm happy, you know, to come out of that game with a W um, because I don't think we played great, but good enough to win. Man, I've just been so proud of Drew. Um, what he gives us is he gives us toughness. Uh, he gives us that competitive fight every single night. He's up at the level. He's trapping. He's getting extra opportunities, offensive rebounds. Um, he has been huge for us this year. He really has. It does. It does. Um, we were really struggling, I thought, in that first half. Um, you know, when Drew came in and Shaden, I thought, gave us a big time first half, um, we fed off of those dudes. You know, um, I told them at halftime, y'all changed the game for us. You know, starters, y'all got, we got to be better. We shouldn't put the pressure on our reserves to come in and fuel us, you know. How talented of a decision is that for you to, like, okay, Drew, this is going to be your game. You know, Nurk, you don't have it. Like, when you make that, we don't call it that. Yeah, I think it's just one of those it's one of those feel things, you know. Um we got off to such a tough start, you know, and it wasn't um and it never is anything personal, but I'm gonna do what is best for the team in the moment, you know, and Drew's just giving us on both ends of the floor. Um, he gave us some great, great moments and um his speed into screens you know, even puts teams at a disadvantage and it gives our guys a, a chance to, you know, to get off of that screen and make a play. Um, so everything he did was just awesome tonight. Um, and it, it has been all year, actually. Chauncey, a lot of the turnovers that you guys had tonight felt like they were just like guys passing the ball out of bounds like to nobody. Do you think, what, what do you think, why do you think there was like a lot of those tonight on the team station? Yeah, we, 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 uh, we gave it a few souvenirs that, this game to some fans. Um, I just think that, you know, a couple times we were just sped up, you know, a lot of times and, you know, we're supposed to be in certain spots and when we're not in those spots, you know, when we're when we're really clicking, you can get downhill and get in the air and you know where a guy's going to be. You don't even have to look and throw it. He's going to be there. Um, sometimes when they're not, it looks, you know, it looks pretty bad, but I just thought, even some of the ones that wasn't turnovers, I just felt like um, a lot of the, a lot of balls they deflected, which threw off the timing of our passes on some of the plays, and um, it was just a funky game. But it really was credit to them. Um, it's just kind of how they play, but we have to be better. Uh, we went to our zone. We went to our zone, and um, you know they they ran a couple of little good plays against our zone, but we adjusted to it. Um, they was running a guy other baseline. We made an adjustment on that, and uh, I thought we did a better job at that moment. One of making them take a tough shot, but getting the rebound. Um, rebounds was a problem. I mean, for a, a, a little while there, I called, had to call a timeout and I said, one, we got to find a way to get a stop. And two, when we get a stop, we got to get the damn rebound. And we were struggling in both areas. And I thought at the end, um, we forced them into tough shots and then we actually got the rebound, you know, and that's kind of what changed it. Yeah, Dame was a... Uh, he was big all night, you know, defensively for sure. Um, uh, the kid Vassal, 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 he was um, he was crushing us in the first half, and I called a timeout at one point. I said, man, who, who is going to guard this dude? 
Somebody got to guard this guy. So Dame was like, I got him. Did a really good job on him, um, but he was working so hard. I said, if he keeps working this hard, he's going to be worn out by the fourth quarter. So I changed the matchup back up at halftime. And then, uh, you know, Dame was just very, he was, he was, he was a lot more, uh, showed a lot of motion in this game uh, for us defensively and talking. And when he got that block, obviously, you know, the motion that he shared after that was kind of, that was kind of where he was at tonight. Are you a big speech guy? Nah. No. Nah, not really. Not really. I mean, I, I, I try to, I try to just speak, you know, um, certain moments. It's, if it's got to be a speech, obviously I got to talk to him every day. But I never rarely, I rarely talk after games um, a lot, you know, um, especially after losses. I don't really speak at all. Uh, halftime, yeah, I, I will. I, I, I say what I see, you know, um, and I show a couple clips on what I see and sometimes it could be embarrassing to people but it is what it is if I see it everybody sees it and they need to know it so not a big speech but I'm I'm gonna get to what's going on like have you ever felt like you needed to infuse some emotion oh sure sure like how do you do that how do you get that out of you uh I probably can't share that with y'all but uh there's been several times at half times where you know you have to just you have to put an address on it, man. Two or three dudes are not getting it done. I'm not the coach that say we need to be better with closeouts. I'm saying no. Aaron, you gotta guard somebody, man. Jason, quick, come on, man. What are we gonna do tonight? You know what I mean? Like I'm putting an address on it. And I think that it goes a long way with the guys, you know. Um I, I, I'm not just the blanket dude. Like we, 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 everybody sees it. So I'm not gonna come in and put the blanket on it. I'm gonna say this is you, you, you. All right, let's rock. Let's get better. Let's go. I did, man. All the time. All the time. Um, I can't say it worked. I, I think it showed results. I think the Miami game, um, you know, you talk about how physical a team is or what they're going to do every single time, and then they come in and they just do that, you know. Um, you know, those are frustrating times, and it just happens. It's the NBA, but it won't happen without us at least discussing it. And you come out and you show a better, you know, a better effort, better fight, make an adjustment to whatever we talked about. And whether you win or lose, you want to see something different, you know. Um, we usually respond.